To write the formula for magnesium phosphate, we go to the periodic table and we look up magnesium. That has an element symbol of Mg. And phosphate, that's not on the periodic table. It ends in ATE, so it's a polyatomic ion. We can look that up on a table of common polyatomic ions. And when we do, phosphate is PO4 3 minus. Magnesium, that's a metal. And then phosphate, that's a group of nonmetals. So if we have a metal and nonmetals, we have an ionic compound, and we need to think about the ionic charges when we write the formula for magnesium phosphate. Magnesium on periodic tables in group two. So it has a two plus ionic charge. And then we said the phosphate, that has a three minus. So these need to add up to zero, and they do not. So what we can do is use something called the crisscross method to change the subscripts. We can take the three, put it down here, and the two over here. Let's get rid of the charges here. And then we need to put parentheses around the phosphate. That's a polyatomic ion. So this is the formula for magnesium phosphate. But we should check our work. We said magnesium was 2 plus, and then the phosphate, that was 3 minus. So I have two phosphate ions. Each one's 3 minus. 2 times 3 minus, that's 6 minus. And then three magnesiums, 3 times the 2 plus, that's 6 plus. 6 plus, 6 minus, that gives us a net charge of zero. So this is the correct formula for magnesium phosphate. Let's clean it up. And that's it, magnesium phosphate, Mg3PO4,2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.